I'd like to share with you a resource that will help you select the best native plants for your home landscape. This is based on the work of Dr. Doug Tallamy. There's a resource at nwf.org slash native plant finder and I will go there and show you how to use it. Also, I will show you a document that I compiled based on that data, which indicates what are the most high performing, high value native plants for your home landscape. If you live in, in the United States, the, the list that I put together is for my county. It's on a county by county basis. If you type in your zip code, very valuable resource. So let me show that to you. So this is the native plant finder, nwf.org slash native plant finder. So I'm going to uh, tell them my location. I'm going to click on set location. I'm going to enter my zip code. And then I'm going to say continue. And now it knows where I live in the world. And I'm... It, scroll down just a little bit, find native plants. I'm just going to use this button here, find native plants. And so I typed in my zip code, which tells it what is my county. And then in my county, here are the flowers and grasses that are the most valuable native plants, especially for feeding caterpillars, which turns out to be a strong indication of many other ecological benefits because caterpillars are very specialized and if you have a good representation of the native plants that feed a diverse robust population of caterpillars then you're doing good so these are the flowers and grasses scroll down just a little bit you can find the trees and shrubs so the trees and shrubs are in one group flowers and grasses in another group I can pick on, uh, let me just show you. So this one is goldenrod, and these are ranked in order. So in my county, goldenrod, which is a genus, supports 105 species of caterpillars. Sunflower is next, which supports 74 species. Strawberry is next, which supports 68. Joe pieweed is next, which supports 30. And on down, violets are fifth on the list. Violets are not weeds. They're valuable native plants. They're fifth on the list of flowers and grasses in my county in terms of the caterpillars that they support. Scroll down a little bit. Here's trees and shrubs. Oak, which is a genus, the genus Quercus, in my county, supports 478 species of caterpillars beech, plum, uh, well, this is really plums and cherries, and which is the prunus, and it supports 352 species. Next is birch, which supports 200 and, can't quite see that number, 200 and some uh, species of caterpillars. Willow is next, which supports 275. Maple is next, which supports 259, and so on. Now I can click on any, any one genus and I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on Oak and when I do, it takes about five seconds to populate and uh, Oak, it'll, it'll tell you the top 15 caterpillars that are supported by Oak. And I asked Dr. Tallamy, top according to what? And he says, well, these are the ones that we had picture, pretty pictures for. So, um, you know, you can find the names of 15 butterflies or moths that are supported by oaks in your county. The bantam maple dagger, uh, bantam maple dagger moth, retarded dagger moth, spun glass oak slug, the white furcula the climbing moth, the rosy maple moth, green striped uh, moth, different common names for the same species, choke cherry, elm sphinx, great leopard moth, etc. 
So, and that's just one species, that's one genus, that's oak. So I'm going to go back a little bit. So that's how to use the native plant finder. Now, I'm going to go over to a document that I wrote. And the document is where I went through each one of these and I said, okay, I'm going to list goldenrod and I'm going to put a 105 there. And I'm going to list sunflower and I'm going to put a 74 there and strawberry I'm going to put a 68. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put oak 478, uh, plums and cherries 352, etc. Now I'm going to go to the document that I, I wrote for that. Now just introducing this document it says these are the top 100 trees and plants that are the best for our local ecosystems, that is for Louisville, Kentucky. It's going to be different in your, uh, in your county. What do the numbers mean? Oak supports 478 species of butterflies and moths in our locality. Plums and cherries support 352, etc. So I'm going to scroll through this quickly and then come back up to the top. So oaks, plums and cherries, birch. I listed the top 100, all 100. There are about 305 uh, genuses or genera in my county. I listed the top 100 of them. And then I'm going to give you more information at the bottom here. But let's go back up to the top. So number one, in 85% in of the counties in the United States, oaks are numero uno, number one. Dr. Ptolemy wrote an entire book on oaks. It's excellent. So oaks in my county supports 478 species of caterpillars. Plums and cherries support 352. Birch supports 282, etc. So um, now I know what is the number one. If I had to plant one, <laughs> I'm not limited to one, but if I had to plant one, which one would I plant? And if I had two, which what would be the second one? If I could plant three, which could be the third one? If I could plant four, which could be the fourth one? Now the point of this is that not all native plants are equal. So Dr. Ptolemy will say there's two questions. One is, is it native or not? And the other question is, if it's native, how many species of caterpillars does it support? So if you can plant the top few, the top five, the top 10, the top 15, it's very powerful. Not all native plants are created equal, at least in terms of what's Dr. Talmy's focus, which is feeding caterpillars which feed baby birds. So one observation that to me is very interesting. So Dr. Talmy has done work all over North America, and here is a rule of thumb that holds true, and that is 75% of the caterpillars for any region, any biome, 75% of the caterpillars are supported by the top 5% of the genuses or the genera. So oak is a genus, plum and cherry is a genus, birch is a genus. The top 5%, so in my county there are altogether 305 genuses or genera. 5% of that happens to be 17. So I'm looking at the top 17 genuses or genera, and those top 17 alone support 75% of all caterpillars that might show up in my county. That's what makes this a very powerful list and a very powerful analysis. So I want to scroll down here. Um, you know, milkweed is going to be included on this. Milkweed for the monarchs. Milkweed is down here at where? Let's see if I can find it real quick. It's down here at number 81. So it doesn't support a large number of uh, species of caterpillars, but it's milkweed, and we want to know 
how it stands, where it stands on here. So for more details, see the NWF.org Native Plant Finder. And if I can help you, email me at nhhagen at gmail. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.